What's up guys, my name is Austin Black. It's been a little while, but trust me, there will be a video soon explaining what's been going on with me. But right now, I wanna take a look at the highly anticipated Ronin S gimbal. So I got into the single hand gimbal market with the original Zion Crane. I debated a lot of different brands back then. I can, I think the brand Pilot Fly, but it seemed like the market was full of this like small Chinese manufacturers trying to make it with these single hand gimbals. There weren't any real big boys in the marketplace. Zion eventually kind of became the big boy and they released the Zion Crane 2, which I strongly considered buying, but I held off because of this one article that said DJI is entering the market this year with a single hand gimbal of their own. And I knew there was going to be more software integration with this gimbal, which I really, really love. Now, as far as the smoothness of this gimbal, I think that it is really great. I've used it for several weddings, probably a dozen shoots, and I really like it. A big plus for me is the base plate integration with the uh, Manfrotto base plates. Yes, it's compatible with your Manfrotto tripods. I'm filming using the DJI base plate on my a7 III right now, so that's super cool. Um, that was a big plus for me coming from the original Zion Crane and I really love it. I mean, it's extremely smooth. The payload is eight pounds, which is plenty. With the old Zion Crane, I was kind of pushing it with the a7 III on there, so it's really nice to have something where I don't even have to worry about the weight limit. And gimbals generally perform best when you're around half the weight, so I try and be somewhere in that ballpark. So the motors are super strong. I think it's really great. I love that you can program different buttons. You can put it into sport mode by holding the M button. So I have different profiles. Uh, my profile one gives me the basic, uh, it'll follow your pan, not your tilt. And um, that's you know my go-to because I like controlling the tilt with the joystick. Then profile two is basically follow everything, follow roll, follow tilt, follow pan, just in case I want more of a you know a floating around feel, more like a glide cam rather than a gimbal, a little bit less robotic. And then profile three is the one that allows me to do the cool spinning around zero gravity thing. I'll show that off. Yeah, it's. It's a pretty cool little feature. I don't know how much I'll use it, but it's pretty cool. I also really appreciate this trigger on the back that will allow you to uh, lock it in place so you can turn without the gimbal actually moving. That's super nice. Also, the additional tripod feet is a really handy addition. It gives you a little bit of extra leverage if you need it as well. It comes with a follow focus unit, but that doesn't work on Sony cameras, so I can't talk much on that. Hopefully, that gets integrated in the near future because I love to be able to pull focus without having to uh, touch the lens while it's on the gimbal. That's no good. Um, let's talk about the app for a little bit. Okay, so the app is super nice. You can basically connect to your Ronin via Bluetooth. Um, you can configure the motors. Um, what I really like is these create ones. Uh, you can do motion tracking where basically, you know, you can have it move around. You can, you know, make basically as many keyframes as you want and the gimbal will follow the motion. You can also do time lapses with some cables that are included. You've also got kind of just this remote control if you have a second operator. Basically, I think DJI really thought this product through and found out the ways that they could enter the marketplace and just be better than the competition. And I, I think they are in this case with the software integration, with the uh, LCD being available, the body, the um, durability. Everything feels like the next generation product, whereas the original Zion Crane was more of a, you know, Chinese product that was really good, but it wasn't quite there yet. The software wasn't integrated the way you'd like. This is something that's really sleek, really well made, and I think it's great for wedding filmmakers, documentary filmmakers to have something to replace maybe your old glide cam, maybe your old gimbal, because this thing really can pack a large payload up to like 
I've seen people with like a C200 on this thing. So it is really, really nice. Feels good in the hand. I do have a couple complaints. Um, I don't think that the form factor really fits well in bags, or at least not the bags that I use, because um, I get lots of scratches on this. Now DJI includes a great, great carrying case, so maybe I don't have an excuse, but I don't like spending the extra time to put it in the case. You have to unbalance the gimbal to get it there. I like being able just to pull it out of the bag and go. The other thing is you have to turn it on in two places. There's a button here that's your battery indicator and then there's a power button here. So I think that that's kind of weird. And another thing is you can't charge the batteries independently of the unit. So if you're wanting to have several batteries and charging them on the chute, you can't really do that. So there are a few little things that I think maybe could have been improved, but overall, I think it's a super great product that I'm really happy that I waited for. I'm hoping that there is some Sony integration here in the near future, but we'll have to see. Anyways, my name is Austin Black. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.